everyone. Thank you for joining me. Um, as always, your presence is appreciated. So let's go ahead and get into this book review. The book is called The Secret Talker by Gling Yan. And I probably pronounced that wrong, so I do apologize. Um, when I googled some um, information about this author, the name on those um, things that I saw had the name flipped and it was Yan Gleam instead of Gleam Yan. So I don't know. Um, so here is the cover of the book. The cover of the book is really what kind of intrigued me to read this book. Um, so that's what kind of caught my eye and intrigued me to read the book. Um, this story revolved around Hong Mi, and I hope I pronounced that right. Um, Hong Mi. Uh, is a young girl in her country uh, acquiring an education. Hong Mi and Professor Glenn began a relationship and eventually married. Hong Mi moved to the States with Glenn and continued to pursue her education. And Glenn continued being a professor at the local college. Their relationship appeared to be strained from the beginning of this book, okay? Um, Hong Mi and Glenn had some things to overcome before they could actually get married. There were some cultural differences and um, Hong Mi pretty much uh, went against her cultural customs in regards to who she had a relationship with. In the relationship, they weren't communicating in an intimate way or otherwise. Um, they had kind of the um, write a sticky note, put it on the refrigerator type of communication. Um, it kind of, to me, came across as they lacked intimacy. Um, they lacked connection. And I don't know if that was really because of the cultural differences or if they just didn't have a level of uh, transparency and love in their relationship. Um, Hong Mi, <laughs> and I'm probably going to say this wrong and different several times, so I do apologize. Um, Hong Mi has only given Glenn parts of herself and held back information she feels could be damaging to their relationship. In doing so, there is a huge wedge between the couple that Glenn and Hong Mi can't seem to pass. <clears throat> Out of the blue, Hong Mi receives an email that piques her interest. Um, this begins Hong Mi's journey down a road in which she reveals her inner feelings and thoughts to a possible stranger. Um, she revealed parts of her life and self that she hasn't even shared with her husband but felt comfortable enough to share it with this pen pal. Um, Hamaji relaying a glimpse of her life is very interesting to me. Um, obviously, she's from a different culture, um, a different kind of way of life, and kind of getting a glimpse of that was very uh, intriguing and interesting to me. I definitely enjoyed that part. Um, the back and forth between um, Hamanji and the pen pal, it gets a little creepy and stalkery-ish. <laughs> There's a bit of cat and mouse game going on between the two. Um, 
Hamanji isn't getting as much information from the pen pal about themselves. Um, it's kind of like the, the pen pal is wanting Hamanji to divulge information and, and um, kind of holding back um, providing information about themselves. So it's kind of like this, keep you on the string. You're wondering like who this person is and what do they want and why are they contacting her? And for me, it was, how did this person get the email in the first place? That's what I, I mean, that, that immediately pops up into your head. How did this person get her email in the first place? Um, Hamanji gets to the point where she wants to know who's communicating with her. She enlists her friend to help out um, to find who the person behind the emails might be. Um, to me, the process of elimination was short and I figured out early on who the um, pen pal was. Um, so for me, it had to be someone close to her um, because at one point the author attempted to um, weave in a web of confusion um, to kind of throw you off the scent, but it was kind of a flimsy web of confusion for me. Um, because at one point in the book, Hamanji changes her email address. So if your email address is different than what it originally was, and this person somehow seems to continue to be able to email you, you have to then look at a narrowed scope of people that she would have given that new email address to. Now, I'm not an IT person. Maybe there is some lag time in, or, or maybe there's some way to connect an old email address to the new email address. I don't know. But for me, I felt the list of people that the pen pal could possibly be was very short in just my mind. So, um... When Hamanji connects the dots and finds out who is behind the emails, I felt the story could have continued, expanded, you know, went at least three, four more chapters. However, the author didn't continue what could have been another level to this story. Um, the author did pack in quite a bit of detail about Hamanji. Um, when she was emailing the pen pal. So you felt like you got a good portion of meat of the story, but I felt that the story could have been cultivated a little bit further. Um, and it could have developed into something bigger. Um, but it didn't. Um, the author wrapped up the story and left you feeling like you're on hold. Like, what happened next? Like, what, what's, <laughs> what's, what's the next phase? Like, what, does it? Um, it was kind of like we went through all of that for what? Um, maybe this was a segue for another book, possibly, uh, maybe a sequel. Um, I don't know if I would seek out to find out if there is another um, installment, if that is the case. I don't think I was hooked enough to say, ooh, I want to be on the lookout for the sequel. I, I, didn't, I didn't get that from the book. Um, it, the book's not that memorable for me to go and next year think about, wow, did that sequel come out to that book? 
so I won't be looking for it um this is in fact a short story it was only like 150 pages um, I categorize this book as a palate cleanser um, it's a nice book to clean your literary palate for the next feast <laughs> um, the author like I said does a great job of packing in um, information um, the storyline is good but as I said the author could have really um, took this book a little bit further uh, all in all it's not horrible I mean it's a good little weekend palate cleanser mm, you know curl up by the fire and 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 read for a couple hours and and be done um, if you really have a uh, how many books can I read in a year quota throw this book in there I give this book a three out of five um, if you've read the book comment your thoughts let me know what you thought um, subscribe click like share tell a friend so until next time keep turning the pages my book lovers